Lots of people seem to think that I'm not real. Apparently, I'm AI generated. Maybe it's true. There's a lot of talk these days about how artificial intelligence is going to change the world in the coming years. A lot of the jobs that we currently do today will probably disappear, and a lot of the skills that we think are important today will probably become irrelevant, because AI will be able to do them better than humans. How about the skill of being able to speak another language? Will it become irrelevant? In some ways, it probably will. Örneğin, belki Türkçe konuşuyorsunuz çünkü onu öğrenmek için çok çalıştınız ve şimdi Türkiye ile iş yapan bir ticaret şirketinde çalışıyorsunuz ve sizinle aynı işi yapmak üzere yeni biri işe alındı. Ama o Türkçe konuşmaz. Türkçe konuşmasına gerek yok çünkü otomatik AI çeviri araçları Türkçe konuşanlarla iletişim kurmasına izin verir. İngilizce konuştuğunda onlar Türkçe duyar ve Türkçe konuştuklarında o İngilizce duyar. You didn't know I was fluent in Turkish, did you? Actually, I'm not. That wasn't me speaking Turkish. That was AI. I was just speaking English. And the AI tool translated my English into Turkish. Let's see that again and pay attention to how my mouth moves. Örneğin, belki Türkçe konuşuyorsunuz çünkü onu öğrenmek için çok çalıştınız ve şimdi Türkiye ile iş yapan bir ticaret şirketinde çalışıyorsunuz. You can see that the AI tool is producing a Turkish translation in my voice and it's even controlling the movements of my mouth to make it look like it's really me that's speaking. The specific tool I'm using is called HeyGen. The way it works is that you upload a video and it translates that video into another language. 翻译成中文，他们可能会对我的流利程度印象深刻。Video für Deutschland und Österreich erstellen, ins Deutsche übersetzen, damit es viral verbreitet wird. Die meisten Leute dort sprechen gut Englisch. Daher könnte es sinnlos sein, es ins Deutsche zu übersetzen. Aber ich könnte es tun. You get the point. I'm sure the results are not perfect, but they seem to be pretty good. If you're a native speaker of Turkish, Chinese or German, what do you think of the translation you just heard? Does it seem authentic or at least pretty good? Leave your reaction in the comments. So this AI tool doesn't translate your speech in real time. You first need to film a video of yourself, then upload it, then the tool will translate it for you. So it's useful if you want to create an on-demand video in another language, but not for conversing in real time. Yet. In the future, I'm 100% sure that this will be possible. It's already possible in text, with automatically translated captions in meeting software like Zoom and Microsoft Teams. You can speak in your native language, and other participants will see translated captions of what you say in their own native language, in real time, or almost real time. There's a very slight delay. The day will come when you'll be able to speak one language, and other participants will hear your voice speaking in another language of their choice. This will happen. And you can imagine how this will make foreign language skills less important for getting a job. But that's online. When meeting face to face, people will still need to be able to speak a common language or use an interpreter, right? No, I don't think so. A few years from now, wearable devices like Meta Smart Glasses or Apple Vision Pro will probably be able to translate in real time. So when you speak to someone and they speak a different language, you'll see automatically generated subtitles in the glasses and there will probably be headsets or earpieces that automatically translate the audio. In the more distant future, I think humans will have the option to install a device in their brains that makes them automatically understand foreign languages. So they won't even have to wear geeky glasses and headsets. This will probably be a function of Neuralink devices and similar. Let's go over to Twitter and ask Elon Musk what he thinks. Sorry, X. So will this kind of technology kill language learning? Will people stop learning languages aside from their native language? No, I don't think so. At least not entirely. I think that AI translation and AI enhanced language skills will be very useful at work and for functional use. People won't really need to learn languages to complete tasks. But people will continue to learn languages for enjoyment, to socialize, and to gain deeper insight into other cultures. Take me for example. I've never learned a language mainly for work or mainly to accomplish tasks. I've learned languages because it's fascinating to discover how another language works, it gives me an opportunity to focus deeply on one thing, and because I like speaking with people in languages that I'm learning. Think of those times when you tried to speak another language, or even made a poor attempt at it, and the other person's eyes lit up with excitement, appreciation, and endearment. They're thrilled to hear you speak their language. It completely breaks the ice and creates a memorable and special moment between you and those people. Do you think people will react the same way if you're using automatic AI translation? No, of course they won't. 
What impresses them and breaks the ice is the fact that you care enough about their culture and language to invest time and effort into learning it. And when you genuinely learn a language, you can learn idioms, slang, and parts of the local dialect that make your speech more expressive and personal. I think AI will normally use the formal and standard language, and will have trouble with dialectal speech, with different levels of formality, and with the ways that people of different ages and social groups speak. Those subtleties are often what help you connect with native speakers the most, but I don't think AI will be very good at that for a long time. So I'm sure people will continue to learn languages because they love having those memorable experiences of connecting with people. And as we saw with the failure of Google Glass, if you walk around in public wearing geeky, privacy-invading smart glasses, people probably won't want to talk to you at all. Some people learn languages and don't even speak to people in them. They use them mainly for passive consumption, like watching the news or movies or reading books or whatever. I mean, I like speaking to people, sometimes, but I'm mainly an introvert, and there are several languages I've learned in the past that I haven't actually spoken to anyone in several years, like Hebrew, Indonesian, and French. But I often listen to the news in those languages, or read articles, or listen to podcasts, or whatever. Do I need to? No, I could watch other news in English, and listen to different podcasts. But I enjoy it. I love the feeling of focusing deeply on something and forcing myself to be in the moment so that I understand as much of what I'm hearing as possible. So even if AI translation makes it possible to consume that exact same content in perfectly natural English, I'm still going to listen to it in the original language most of the time. Honestly, sitting back with a coffee and watching the news in a foreign language is one of my favorite things to do when I have a little bit of downtime. I also like reading ancient forms of languages like Biblical Hebrew and Biblical Aramaic. Even though there are English translations I can read, I love the experience of deciphering the text and figuring out what things mean. I feel like I'm entering a time machine and people from the past are speaking directly to me in their ancient tongue. It's already completely non-essential, and I'll keep doing it just because it's incredibly interesting to me. Artificial intelligence is irrelevant to that kind of language learning. In short, language learning will become more about human connection than about functional use. Completing tasks and functions won't require us to use them, but meaningful and authentic social interaction will be enhanced by real knowledge and use of the language. And there will always be people who learn languages just because they love them, even if they don't use them socially or need them for work. Think about me in this channel. Do I have any real reason to examine the structure of Hungarian or compare the phonology of Russian and European Portuguese? No, I'm just a language geek and languages are cool. AI can't take that away from me. How about you? Will you still dedicate time to learning and practicing other languages if AI translation makes it unnecessary? Leave your answers in the comments down below. As always, it's time to give a big shout out to all of the LangFocus Patreon supporters, especially the ones whose names appear right here on the screen. They are the top tier Patreon supporters, so let's give them a round of applause. If you liked this video, then you might also like this one right here. Just click on the thumbnail and it'll take you right to the video.